Now the next thing we're going to do is hook up an event to this open button click, similar to what we did on the close button. So let's go back to the code. We're going to go to this app events and we're going to set up another event. And we're going to call this open book. And it's just like the other one except we're calling it open book instead of close book. And we're going to set a function just like it. Control copy, C for copy, I mean. Control E to paste. And we're going to say open book function. Function. So if open book is not equal now. And we're going to do something different on this. Book. Okay. So this is just like the other one, except it's open book instead of closed book. Now, on this open book, when we go to open our book over here, and we set these active and stuff, we are going to trigger this event, okay? So app events open function and that's going to do the things we need to do and it's going to go to this flip page because I just do not like crossing things around I would rather just have an event that's checked so on this flip page we're going to have to add a listener the only thing is this is a little bit different um, we need this actually check before it goes into start so we're going to use the term awake and awake is similar to start but it starts before start and you can have both awake and a start and that's what we're going to do so I'm going to go ahead and add private to this and private to the update just because I like it and we're going to add an awake and call it A-W-A-K-E and this is a unity function so it's already going to know to do things with it and this is in the flip page program and what we're going to do when this awakes we're going to add the um, listener or the event check for the event before it actually starts otherwise it'll get missed and you know it's okay to put other things in a way too but this is the only thing we really need in it so we add events open book add our new event handler we're calling it open book button click And then we'll add this down at the bottom. And right now we're just going to send a message. Let's see. Turn one page. Close with. Okay, here we are. So let's go ahead and do it right here. Okay, I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger so I can see a little bit more. Okay, E N. Okay, E N. Okay. Uh, even args E. And right now, all we're going to do is we're just going to print a message to the console. So we can know that even though we pressed that, in this open book and we've not done anything else it will still get it 
in the page flip just because we triggered this event and we checked for the event. So let's do that real quick. So there we got it. Now this is a good place to pause, stop. So I'm going to close this video and then the next video we're going to start adding our events to fill up this page. Okay? I'll see you then.